Johnny's dad pulls a, this is not the game plan we had, or this is not the game plan we spoke about. And I'm sitting there like, sir, what was the game plan you had? <laughs> what was the game plan you had? To win the money and not really fall in love? I didn't say that. Nobody but me, I love your love, love your love. No do, no do, no do my my Hey everyone, I'm your host Mayo Quinn. Today I am back with another recap slash opinion related video on Love Island USA season two, episode 31. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first of all, first of all, <laughs> public service announcement to CBS. The next time you guys dare to air Love Island 14 minutes late, there's gonna be a problem. You guys better get your service together, get your system together. I usually watch Love Island with my friend and she was watching it and my TV was still showing Big Brother. So CBS, I'm gonna need you to get it together, okay? But now that I'm done with that, let's dive into this episode, you guys. It was an emotional one. I didn't cry, you cried. <laughs> so the episode started with Justine and Caleb leaving the hideaway and they did what had to be done, you know? let your imagination go wild because they never actually stated what exactly they did. They never denied it either. So I, honestly, I don't even know what they did in the hideaway, but just let your imagination go wild and whatever your imagination thinks, that's what happened. We're just gonna leave it at that. Then Mora's family calls in, it's her mom and her sister, and they're telling her how they're so proud of her and everything she's accomplished in the villa and she needs to stay strong. They talk about how they love Calvin and they're actually very happy he's in the villa because they believe he's there He's there for her. And then surprisingly, Mora didn't cry, which was very shocking to me because I thought Mora was gonna bawl her eyes out, but Mora actually didn't cry. And then Calvin's parents come on the screen and they're saying how they're very proud of him as well and they love their relationship and they see them going far and they can't wait to see them outside the villa. Then Calvin and Mora proceed to talk about how their feelings are getting really strong for each other and they see strength, they see growth in their relationship. So like I said, I see them falling for each other. I Honestly, I won't even mind if Calvin and Mora come second. Then we move on to Justine who was actually scared because she's not sure about what her mom is gonna think because she comes from a Christian background and she's now on national TV sleeping on the same bed with another man. So. Her imagination is going wild. She's super scared to know what her family thinks of her. And she starts crying and she's like, I'm not sure what they think of me. I want to make them proud. And I don't think I've done that. But Justine was crying for no reason because I'm going to talk about it later. Her mom, I'm going to talk about it later in a few seconds, in a few minutes. <laughs> but then Caleb and Johnny start talking and Caleb is telling Johnny how the way Justine is so scared, it's making him scared because he feels like there's so much more to it that she's not saying. And <laughs> she was, he was saying how he's even more scared to meet her parents now because she's so scared. And it was actually really funny because they had nothing to be scared about. But Caleb asks Johnny what he thinks about Sally's family or what, like if he's scared, what is he, like, you know, what is he gonna do? And Johnny's talking about how, oh yeah, he doesn't mind meeting her family, like he's just chilling and nobody else's opinion counts but Sally's. I'm like, Johnny, you're about to meet your girlfriend's parents and you're saying nobody else's opinion matter but your girlfriend's? Like here goes the arrogant attitude, Johnny. Like how do you not care about Sally's parents' opinions or her family's opinions. Like, do you hear yourself? And Sally has a very deep connection with her parents or with her mom. And you're saying you don't care about other people's opinions, but Sally's. <sighs> like there's so much wrong with Johnny, but ugh, Jesus. Then Lakin's family comes on the screen and she's telling her parents how she's a new girl. So she feels kind of like left out. She's not used to being the new girl. And her parents tell her how they're very proud of her. Then Bennett's family comes on and they're telling him how they really love Lakin and they see them progressing outside the villa. Then Laurel's parents come on and this was actually a very emotional one as well because Laurel starts crying. Laurel is such a sweetheart and she starts crying. And then her parents start asking her that, are you sure Carrington is for you? Because we've seen the emotional roller coaster he's put you on. And she's like, yeah, he's for me. I actually genuinely love him or, no, she doesn't say love. She says, I genuinely like him. And I think he's just a really good guy. And so 
Caleb is asking Carrington, like, are you nervous? You look very nervous, bro. And he's like, no, I'm not nervous. Like, I, ha I know how to talk to parents. And then Laurel calls him over and <laughs> she's like, Carrington, my parents want to talk to you. And he starts shaking. He's like, yeah, I'm nervous. And in my head, I'm thinking, you've been bold this whole episode. Keep the same energy. Keep the same energy because you've been bold. You've been very bold this whole season. So keep it going, big boy. <laughs> and then he goes to meet Laurel's parents. And surprisingly, they actually accept him. You know, they know he's made mistakes, but they're willing to give him like a chance with their daughter. And it was actually a really cute conversation they all had. But I was thinking in the back of my head, like, Carrington? Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Carrington even tells Laurel's parents that she's the one for me. I'm like, oh God, here we go with these slick sentences that are high key lies. I'm like, Carrington, just keep quiet and just listen because let the parents do more of the talking because everything that's coming out from your mouth, boy, a whole lot of nonsense. <laughs> then Carrington's parents call in and they're telling Carrington how they're proud of him, that they've seen what he's been doing. He needs to calm down and stick with Laurel because she's a very beautiful and she looks like a very calm girl that you know they would do very well and they're saying how they can't wait for both of them to come out of the villa so they can meet them justine's mom calls next and her justine's mom and her sister start singing for justine and justine is just there she's so happy i'm like oh my gosh look at my african family i claim them now so that's my family too, okay? Let me start. But yes, so her family, her mom comes in with her beautiful traditional outfit. I'm like, yes, represent, sis, represent. Africans never like, like that's one thing I know, like come correct or don't come at all, okay? And her mom is saying how she really loves Caleb and that Caleb actually reminds her of her husband and that made just seem so emotional because she was like damn like Caleb reminds you of dad like that's crazy but the mom really loves Caleb so does the sister they're saying how they're very happy she's found him in the villa and they're saying how they're so proud of her and she should keep going and stay strong then Caleb's mom and dad come on the screen and Caleb starts crying like Caleb was crying, crying this episode. Like, <laughs> he was not playing. He cried so much this episode. And it was actually very nice to see because you just see a different part of Caleb because Caleb has just never been... You, you never see him emotional. And to see him cry for that long, it really just meant a lot because it was kind of like, wow, a man crying on national TV is kind of seen as weak, especially if, like, black men, you know, because he talks about how... He's very proud that he's a black man and black people usually don't go this far in life. His dad was telling was telling him how he's a great example for men out there and he loves what he's doing. And that made him emotional. He started crying. I loved it. I honestly loved the communication between Caleb and his dad and his mom and his sisters came in as well. He's two little sisters and they start crying too. <sighs> Y'all, it was, it was a lot. Like, they all started crying. I was like, oh my gosh, this is too much for me. This is too much for me. And then Caleb's dad asks him, is Justine the one? Now, Caleb doesn't give a, like, direct answer. Like, yes, she is. Which I respect him for. Because, what, they've only known each other for, like, a month. So how am I supposed to know if she's the one? But he gave an amazing answer. He said, Justine is everything his parents taught him to look for in a woman. I was like, whoa 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 you know but he just gave a beautiful answer i was like caleb are you sure you're not some kind of public speaker out here because he said the right things it was so beautiful that at the end like his family members just started clapping <laughs> it was like a speech <laughs> but his parents are so proud of him his sisters are so proud of him they start crying because they missed their big brother and it was just amazing because caleb you could just tell like his relationship with his family is so beautiful and so there's there's such a huge connection between all of them and we just love to see it and Sally's family comes on Se listen Sally's family is lit they were, they were like twerk if you can hear us <laughs> and then Sally starts twerking such a lit family but obviously you guys they start questioning Sally about what happened in Casa Amor so her mom is like Sally like I saw what you went through how do you feel and then Sally was like mom you always told me to forgive people so that's what I've gone with and I just forgave him and let's see where this goes but Sally's brother was not playing he <laughs> he told Johnny let's see we'll talk about it when we when we when we meet up I was like ooh, 
Johnny is in for a rude awakening because brothers don't play. Brothers do not play with their sisters. Do you hear me? They do not play. They don't. And so Sally's sister, her mom, and her brother decide to give Johnny a clean slate. And they're like, yo, listen, we like you. You know, go ahead, do what you got to do. We'll see you outside the villa. We can't, meet, we can't wait to meet all of you. And let's see where this goes. Then Johnny's parents come on and they start talking about, oh, hey, Johnny. Hi, Sally. And then Johnny's dad pulls a, this is not the game plan we had. Or this is not the game plan we spoke about. And I'm sitting there like, sir, what was the game plan you had? <laughs> what was the game plan you had to win the money and not really fall in love? I didn't say that. But Johnny's dad told him this is not the game plan we had. So I'm thinking, what's the game plan? Because when you use the word game plan, game plan, it's kind of like, I don't know. His dad continues to say like he's a good boy and you know when i was his age i did the same thing and i'm like sir you're saying everything that you shouldn't be saying <laughs> but johnny gets very irritated after the whole family calling situation with him and sally because he's like all we spoke about was Casa more and this is not fair. I didn't even get the chance to tell your family how I, what I love about you, and all we did was talk about Casa more. This is so irritating, and I don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm like, boy, you're in for a very rude awakening because that's all you're gonna hear when you leave the villa. So you think you're hearing about it in the villa right now? Best believe when you leave the villa, that's all you're gonna hear. So you better want to stay in the villa. Because as much as you think you're hearing a lot about it in the villa, you're really not. You're really yeah. not. Honestly, Sally and Johnny's relationship, it's a no for me, respectfully. I say that in the most respectful way possible. It's a no for me. It's a zero for me. It's a nuh -uh for me. Mm -mm. <laughs> All the family calls are over. Everyone's doing their own thing. Bennett and Lakin go for a chat and Bennett is telling Lakin how she's the perfect mix of everything she wants in a girl and he's so happy he's with her. And then Lakin is talking about how he's the perfect guy. <sighs> you guys, this is too much for me because honestly, they just need to leave the villa. And I actually think they will leave the villa because in episode 32, a couple has to leave. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be Bennett and Lakin and I really hope it's Bennett and Lakin because in as much as I see what they're trying to do and build chemistry they should just build it outside the villa I don't think it's meant to be for the villa you see what I mean so if they really think that they're a perfect match for each other let them pursue it outside the villa that's my final <laughs> that's my final conclusion then Carrington and Laurel are talking and he talks about how Laurel makes him want to be a better guy. Carrington, no one is going to make you want to be a better guy but yourself. I just want you to know that because the way you've been acting, only you can change you. I don't think anybody else can change you but you. So next, then Caleb and Justine are talking and he's saying how he feels so embarrassed because he's been crying. When I tell you all Caleb was crying this whole episode, Caleb was crying this whole episode and he was like, he feels embarrassed. And then Justine was like, no, like, I love this side of you. You know, it shows me like, I love the connection between you and your family. I love a family boy, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just there like, yeah, like Caleb, don't feel embarrassed, boy. Okay, you did what you had to do. You know, you showed your emotions. It's allowed, it's accepted. And Justine's talking about how, oh yeah, she just wants like all their families to meet together. Like a big gathering with friends and family. And Caleb was like, so you mean a wedding? <laughs> And then they just start laughing. I just love that couple. Oh, Lord. They better win. If they don't win, I'm calling my lawyers, attorneys, everyone. We calling people. We running up on Love Island producers because that's not going to happen, okay? j -Lib for the win. And that's on what? Period. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I talk about episode 32. Bye, guys.